Today, we're digging into the dirty side of human settlement, literally. We're talking about how where we live and how we build our communities have some pretty big impacts on the environment. Spoiler alert, it's not always a pretty picture. Let's get started. First off, let's talk about water pollution. Water is life, right? But when humans settle down, we often bring along things that mess up our water sources. Take industry, for example. Factories produce all kinds of waste, and when that waste isn't properly managed, it can end up in rivers, lakes, and oceans. Add in agriculture, with fertilizers and pesticides washing off fields, and human waste from poorly managed sewage systems, and you've got a recipe for polluted water. This pollution can kill fish, harm wildlife, and even make water unsafe for us to drink or swim in. Next up, air pollution. Ever been stuck in traffic behind a line of cars with their engines idling? That's just one of the many ways human settlement contributes to dirty air. Vehicle emissions from cars, trucks, and buses release harmful gases like carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides into the atmosphere. And it's not just vehicles. Industrial emissions from factories and power plants pump out pollutants that can lead to smog, respiratory problems, and even contribute to climate change. In big cities where there are lots of vehicles and industries close together, air pollution can get so bad that it's dangerous to be outside for too long. Then there's soil contamination. The ground we walk on might look clean, but sometimes it's hiding some nasty stuff. Pesticides used in farming can seep into the soil, and when factories don't properly dispose of their industrial byproducts, those chemicals can also end up in the ground. Even our garbage dumps can be a problem. When waste isn't managed properly, harmful substances can leak out and contaminate the soil. This doesn't just affect the plants growing in that soil, it can also get into the food chain, affecting animals, and even us, when we eat contaminated crops. Another big issue is deforestation. As human settlements expand, especially in places like rainforests, we often clear large areas of trees to make room for homes, farms, and roads. This doesn't just mean fewer trees to help clean our air, it also leads to the loss of habitat for countless species. Animals that once lived in these forests have to find new homes, and if they can't, they might not survive. Deforestation also plays a big role in climate change because trees store carbon, and when they're cut down, that carbon is released into the atmosphere. Let's not forget about urban sprawl. Remember how we talked about cities spreading outwards like a blob? When this happens, agricultural land often gets eaten up by new developments. Farms that once provided food are paved over to make way for new neighborhoods and shopping centers. This not only reduces the amount of land available for farming, but also increases our reliance on food being transported from farther away, which can lead to more pollution. And then there's something you might not have thought much about, light pollution. In big cities, the sky is lit up 24 seven. Streetlights, buildings, billboards, it all adds up. This might seem harmless, but it can have a big impact on wildlife. For example, birds that migrate at night can get confused by city lights and lose their way. Some animals that rely on darkness for hunting or mating can have their natural behaviors disrupted by all the artificial light. We've also got disruption of migratory routes. Many animals have migration patterns that take them across vast distances. But when we build highways, cities, and other infrastructure in their paths, we can block these routes. Imagine being on a road trip and suddenly all the roads are closed. What do you do? That's what happens to animals when their migratory paths are cut off and it can lead to declines in populations as they struggle to find food or breed. Finally, let's talk about desertification. This is when fertile land becomes a desert, and it's often caused by unsustainable agricultural practices. Overfarming, overgrazing, and deforestation can strip the soil of nutrients, making it impossible for plants to grow. Without plants to hold the soil together, the land becomes dry, dusty, and eventually turns into a desert. This is a huge problem in places like the Sahel region in Africa, where land that once supported farming is turning into barren desert, pushing people to migrate in search of better conditions. So there you have it. Human settlement, while essential for our survival and progress, has some serious side effects on the environment. From water and air pollution to deforestation, soil contamination and more, our actions have a ripple effect that can harm the planet in ways we might not even see at first glance. But by understanding these impacts, we can start to make better choices and find ways to live that are more in harmony with the world around us. 
That's it for today's geography lesson. Keep thinking about how we fit into the big picture and what we can do to protect our planet.